in Gainesville. These are the bikers on parade for the USA. It's a fundraiser to help the American Red Cross. And this weekend, they had over 2,000 motorcycles show up for this and raise over $43,000 for the American Red Cross. What an impressive display with 2,000 motorcycles. So we caught up with Debbie Branson, Executive Director for North Central Florida of the American Red Cross, to find out more about their responsibilities. The Red Cross is the only organization that can get a message, emergency message, over to uh, a military personnel. And so we are charged by Congress to verify that information. And when we call that military branch, um, they immediately get the message because they know it's been verified. Let's crown some more champions. Let's go to round number one in Super Comp, where Andy Bomback had a single to win the championship. Because Ronnie Procopio took out Mike Konopaki, number two in points. Congrats, you are the champ. How you doing? Thanks. I appreciate it. I've been trying very hard all weekend, and I'm doing good in Top Gas and Pro ET and Super Comp. I'm trying to win the championship. Now we move to Pro ET, round number four. Watching right there is Mike Perry. Why? Because Mark Colson is on the line to race Ed James. Colson is the only guy that can take him out, but he goes red. All right. <laughs> That'll do it. Colson's red light makes you the champ. Hey, it's been a long year. I hate to see anybody lose. We're good friends, but I'm really glad to see him go red right there. <laughs> We've uh, been through six hurricanes in Florida. I had to miss the last race to clean up the mess. and. Um, what can I say? You know, it was all in his uh, hands. All I could do was sit and watch. Another set and watch championship would be decided in round number three of the 600 Supersport category, where Ryan Schnitz lined up against Richard Gadsden. And we'll see if there's any team orders at this point, because former teammate Chip Ellis is on a Yamaha and sitting at the end of the track to see if he's going to win the championship if Ryan wins here. Well, Ryan won it. 963, 140. Oh, come on, champ. You can give us a little more than that. I'll tell you, man, uh, it's been kind of a rough year for me. Um, my bike got stolen in St. Louis. I wasn't able to make the Memphis race, and uh, my good buddy Ryan Snitch just pulled off the win against Richard Gadsden, and uh, therefore that makes me the champion. I'd like to thank uh, Kawasaki. They, um, they gave me some awesome bikes to ride this year. It's been a really good year for us. Uh, check it out, y'all. This is awesome right here. This is what it's all about. Now in round three of Super Gas, Mark Colson was very interested when Lonnie Rueckert faced Ronnie Woodall. And Rueckert has to win this round if he has any chance, but he goes red, so that gives Mark Colson the championship. Now let's move ahead to the next run in the same round. Mark Colson, here he is against Scott Dickinson. And now the championship's out of the way, he just wants to win the race. But Dickinson seems to be way off the pace at the eighth mile, 115 miles an hour by Colson to 99 with Dickinson. Ronnie's a great racer. I mean, he took the championship last year. It was close uh, with us at the end. And uh, Lonnie's just as good. Uh, Lonnie's been doing this for a long time, and uh, I knew if you know anybody could win this thing, he could. Uh, it However, it's you that's the champ for 04. Yeah, it sure feels good. I tell you, it makes that run a lot easier when you see him go out ahead of you. Um, really feels good. Now we'll move to the street bike shootout classification. Four guys having a shot at the championship. The first two, Barry Henson and Mike Slow. And all Barry Henson had to do coming into this event was qualify fifth or better and reach the semis. The win here will give him the championship. Henson, 731, 198. And the other pair, Ricky Gadsden faced Kent Stotts. And Kent Stotts, the previous champion against the current champion, and now he red lights and throws it away, and at least gives Gadsden a chance at the number two play. Your number one plate for 04. You made me earn it. I knew it was going to be a tough race because, you know, hey, that's my bike right there, and he's a rider, you know, so I knew it was going to be tough, man, and and I knew he wasn't going to lay down. He was going to give it all, all he got, and, and, and it was a great race, man. I enjoy racing Mikey, and it's been an awesome year for us both, man, and, and uh, it's just awesome, unbelievable. We'll take a break when we return Sportsman Finals up next.